This is a chance, and Rishi Sunak was saying, look, we've got to unite or die. He's pulled together his cabinet. Are they going to be one that can restore confidence in not only just the party, but the public? So currently in the polls, it, we can expect to see improvements in public perceptions um, of the Conservatives. Um, I think we've got to first look back at Liz Truss. Um, people will be comparing Rishi Sunak and his government to her government, and she reached an approval rating of 7%, which is difficult to do worse than. Um, Rishi Sunak was also the preferred choice um, among the public for who they thought the Conservative Party should choose as leader. Um, the public do want to see stability, and I think a cabinet that he's put together that does appear to be one where he's focused on unity is a good chance to portray that at least. We'll have to see. It's very early days whether that's maintained. Um, but unity is really important for the public in terms of making them feel more stable and having increased confidence in this government. Yeah, it's, um, it, it, it's, it, yesterday, at the beginning of his speech, he was very quickly to, quick to say mistakes were made yesterday. And on the face of it, that seemed like quite, quite an honest assessment mistakes were made. But actually, it's about distancing himself from Liz Truss, because the narrative from Labour will be, this is continuity. You were with Boris Johnson. You're part of this mess. Exactly. And I think one um, good thing that we've seen in the polls for the Conservatives is that the public are more likely to place that blame for what happened with the fallout of the mini-budget on this trust and quasi Quatung, rather than the mm. Conservative Party as a whole. So the fact that Rishi Sunak did distance himself so much is a good thing. And the fact that he was so far removed um, from Liz Truss's government does mean that he can provide that confidence to the public. And you can see that in the fact that he was the um, person that the public preferred over Liz Truss of the candidates that were put forward over the weekend. Normally, when someone becomes prime minister, they get this sort of honeymoon period, yep. don't they? A little bit of time where the public think, let's see what they can do. Is Rishi Sunak actually even going to be afforded that? I think he, he will be for a while. Um, I think a key group we are going to be looking at are Conservative 2019 um, voters, because at the moment, 30% of them are saying that they would vote for Labour. Um, I think they will give uh, Rishi Sunak a chance. You see that a lot in focus groups when a new prime minister comes in. Floating voters um, and, and past voters that have moved away often do give a new prime minister a chance. And I think they will want to give Rishi Sunak that chance. There's quite a lot of anger, though, among the Conservative Party membership um, at what happened with the was Boris Johnson going to run for it or not? And just in our inbox yesterday, people really angry saying, you know, Boris had the mandate, he should have gone for it. Do you have any sort of indication on how things might have gone if Boris had gone forward? He was deeply unpopular with the public. So while he, he was more popular amongst the Conservative membership base than Rishi Sunak, um, I think in, in the long run that wouldn't have been good for the party because they have to, you know, they will want to win the next election. And I think Rishi Sunak gives them a better chance of that than Boris Johnson would have done.